Hello and welcome to Joe's Crafty Cauldron, my channel for crafting and Harry Potter. Today's video is an unboxing. This is a very belated unboxing. So this is um, August's Gobstone Alley Flying Parcel unboxing. Um, it is now the 20th of October. These have been slightly delayed, um, but I am vaguely aware that they've been having a lot of changes going on. Um, recently and um, changes within the company and things like that that's kind of disrupted them um, through no fault of their own and um, so this is obviously a little bit late um, they are expecting or they should be expecting that their September parcels were being sent at the end of September I've not heard anything um, yet about any sort of tracking or anything like that so um, I don't know um, what's going on with that next one but anyway let's just focus on the August box for the time being this is a um, monthly box um, it's not necessarily a subscription box because you can buy the one-off boxes which is what I do I buy them month to month um, you have to order them before the end of the month for the next month's box or I think actually they even do it to sort of the middle of that month sort of thing something like that um, and so you can either buy one box at a time, three boxes at a time, or 12 boxes at a time. So um, if you're on a bit of a budget, you might want to stick with the one month one. But if you've thought ahead, go for the year. And you do save a little bit of money. Um, so these, when you order these, you choose your house colour. Um, obviously your house, should I say. And you choose your t-shirt size. So any house items will be your chosen house um, and you will always get a wearable which is why you need your t-shirt size for these this box is very very heavy so i'm actually starting to struggle to hold it up um so as you do so flying parcel packaging with our post stamps platform nine and three quarters uh, we've got the muggle worthy lock from newt's case we've got hogwarts and hogwarts and then on the back we have gobstone alley's logo there um so if I can get into this. Um, I'm a Ravenclaw, so in the top of mine, the paper is usually blue. So I will remove that. So the first item we have is a wearable, which is a dark gray t-shirt. And it says, I'm just here for Muggle Studies. Project trying to figure out what exactly is the function of a rubber duck. So that's obviously a Mr. Weasley slogan um, there. I'm not sure about it being so wordy. That's my only thought. But as you will know, if you watch my videos, I'm not a massive fan of t-shirts. Then the next item we have is a little badge and it's Beau Baton badge. So it's got the Beau Baton logo there sorry you're getting it quite reflective so i'm sorry but i can't get it that close without you seeing the badge back on itself because it's a bit shiny uh then the next item we have um just while i'm looking um a lot of these boxes they usually have sort of 12 to 15 items in i think so they're pretty good value for money so this first, you always get a candle. This first candle is, I think, I've been buying basically the previous candles that they sell. So I've got trying to get all of their candles because it's their own candle making company. Um, and so this one you will not get in your box if you've got this box. Um, but this is one I've ordered separately. Um, and it's winter at Hogwarts. So it's a handmade seven ounce, 100% vegan candle winter at hogwarts there um why does this candle seem to ring a bell maybe not and so it's got the top there it smells a bit like bakewell tart i'm not sure what the flavor was meant to be on that one um but yes so it's their own brand which is is that blurry or is that my eyes which is instead of candles so as i say that's one i've ordered separately so you will not get that in your box I suspect is this this is possibly the candle let me have a look so this is probably the candle you're going to get in your box unless I've got it the wrong way around and they've just put winter at Hogwarts in the box 
there we go yes so this is the candle you will get in this box so it's obviously a bit of a beau batons theme um, because it is uh, academy de beau baton seven ounce vegan incendio candle so academy de beau baton in there is send your candle apologies for my awful french pronunciation i gave up french when i was 14. i wasn't very good at it it smells lavender it's got little what looks like lavender pips in the top i'm going to call them a pip because i don't know what else they are called so that's that and then we have a little bit more of a rummage so it's always full of this stuff which is really exciting because it's like a lucky dip box so we have in a little gold or yellow pouch we have what looks like a little egg so it looks like this is meant to be like a tri wizard egg and so it's a little gold egg and on the outside it's got stuck take a bath and uh take the egg with you let's try and so it's got take bath and uh take the egg with you can i get into this i wonder if i open this am i going to get absolutely covered in like bath salts or something <gasps> okay don't open the egg <laughs> That's my tip. Don't open the egg. Don't open the egg. Open the egg when you're in the bath. Because I have slightly covered myself in pink bath salts, I assume. So yes, lesson, don't open the egg. <laughs> Everything's now covered in it. Anyway, it was only a little bit because I realised quite quickly. Then... You always get a packet of, again, their own branded tea. So this is Cozy Elves Tea. Um, and this is Neville's Handpicked Flower Tea. They are resealable bags. Um, so I will open this quickly. So it's quite floral. Um, because he is obviously into his herbology. Um, not sure what it smells like. It might be a Mm, chamomile let's read the back shall we ingredients oolong red tea jasmine flower elder flower elder flower chamomile elder flower i don't really like elder flower but i'll give it a go then next i'm going to shake off bath salt dust from all of these we have a packet of sweets which is a pack of jelly slugs i know the they sell these on their own website as well as like a separate item we then have another licensed item, which is a nine and three quarters key ring. We then have something in a little tube. So they tend to do sort of potions ingredients and things like that. So this is a little bottle there of Felix Felicis, brewed in September 1996. So I'm assuming that's meant to be um, sort of when they brewed it and they bottled it up at the end of the potions class that's what they would have put it in so that's really cool bit different it's not sort of the standard felix felicis we see right i'm going to move some of this and hope that i haven't got anything caught in it we then have <laughs> we've got an olivander's um pencil tin which um i'm giggling because i actually have this pencil tin i believe um on the end it says holly and phoenix feather which is harry's wand type um so i believe i do actually have this already but i will double check that but it's a really nice item anyway actually then we have a set of four mini tins so we've got a set of four mini tins you've got potion number 86 nine and three quarters hogwarts express quidditch world cup and marauders map so we've got a selection of tins in there they are quite cute i have also looked at them in the past and not ever bought them so that's really cool um and then we have something that's fabricy but it's covered in like paper dust 
it's a tote bag by the look of it I'll try and shake it off so it's a black tote bag that says Gringotts Ollivanders uh, what's that say Pottages Cauldron Slug and Jiggers Apothecary Flourishing Blocks Quills and then Hogwarts so it's obviously a list oh move that out of the way it's obviously a list of the stops um, on their trip to Diagon Alley and what they needed to get. We then have a house item, which is a Ravenclaw coaster. It's got a raven on it. I'm coming to terms with this slowly. Then we have a tin sign, which says Hogwarts Muggle Studies. We've actually had quite a lot of licensed stuff in here and that's not cheap. And then, I think that is everything. So the last thing we have is the little note that tells us what was in the box. So just to check uh, that you've got everything. So this is the August flying parcel. So we've got a t-shirt. We've got the licensed set of tiny boxes, which I love, I love they call them tiny boxes. Uh, Fleur Delacour's dragon egg inspired bath salt. So that's um, Dead Sea salt, Epsom salt, citric acid, cornstarch, organic almond oil and betanin. So that's obviously meant to be themed on her. We've got the Beau Raton Incendio Candle, which is jasmine, fresh cotton and blue bottle. Oh, that was jasmine on the top, not lavender. Licensed platform nine and three quarters key ring, licensed house crest cork coaster, black cotton shopper, licensed pencil case from Ollivanders, Beau Raton's metal pin, Muggle Studies metal sign, Cozy Elves tea, Neville's favourite tea, hand-picked blend of healing flowers and green oolong tea. A bottle of Felix Felicis and jelly slugs. So I did actually find everything in there. Um, so how many items was that before I throw that away? So that was 13 items and a lot of them were licensed. This is what I enjoy about this box. You've got kind of a combination of the handmade items which you won't find anywhere. Um, and you've also got really good quality um, licensed items. So what do I think is my favourite? Possibly this is a pretty nice item. I do love a good tote bag. Um, and so I do love that that's got all of the various places from Diagon Alley on that. Again, obviously I love this tin because I've bought it for myself. Um, so I'll probably gift that to someone. Pretty cute. I've wanted those for a while. The Felix Felicis is really lovely. I love their sort of unique little bottled potions. I'm getting quite a nice collection of those. Um, I think I've got a number of these, so that's nothing really new. My best friend bought me some jelly slugs for my birthday this year, but that's really good to have some more, just in case I do like them. Um, my tea, I haven't, I feel bad, I haven't actually drunk any of the teas from these boxes yet. I really need to get around to it. Um, the little egg is, again, really cute, cute, sort of handmade touch to that. Um, but yeah, don't open it. <laughs> Don't open it. Read the label, take a bath, and take the egg. Don't open it in the middle of your room. Um, Bobatons candle. So, yeah, definitely a Bobatons and sort of a nine and three quarters theme to this box, which is quite cool. Just trying to throw away all the paper. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure what my favourite item is actually. It was all just really nice. It's a really, really good box. Um, definitely worth the wait. Um, and so I'm not sure when the September box is due to arrive, but I think the September box is going to have something a little extra in it for me because what they do is they have a birthday club. And so when it's your birthday, they send you a code that you basically enter in um, to the sort of notes section on checkout. And so they apparently include something a little bit extra because it's your birthday month. Um, so I think because my birthday is later on in the month. They'd already taken orders for the August box, so I got mine on the September box. So hopefully the next box that arrives should have something extra, some sort of extra goodie um, for my birthday. Um, they've just stopped, oh God, I've got bastards everywhere, sorry. Um, they've just stopped taking orders for the October box. So we're now on the November box. So the November box is what's available in their shop right now and i believe that will be available until november the sort of 12th usually check it out if you go onto their website which will be linked down below um they do 
in the description box they say when they'll have that box till and it's usually until they've sold out or until a certain date um, so it could be the end of October or it could be I think it used to be the end of the month so it'll be the end of October for November's box um, but might change slightly um, and given us longer perhaps um, but anyway that is all from me. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Um, please do leave a comment down below of what you liked the most about this box. Um, please hit the like if you did enjoy this um, video. And do feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Um, that's all from me. So I'll speak to you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.